Hi, welcome and thanks for joining. I'm Barb Moran. We're here tonight to celebrate life. You will hear a few stories and learn a little more what's behind this magic we call music. Bill and I are honored to be part of Bow Strong Foundation. We are a nonprofit organization that supports young adults and their families that are fighting and living with cancer. By attending tonight, you are supporting our community by helping us raise awareness. As a cancer survivor, I've had the opportunity to see the impact that a serious diagnosis can have, not just on the person that is fighting or living with cancer, but the toll it takes on our family and friends that support us. Working with the Bo Strong Foundation has been a way for Bill and I to make a difference and be a voice for the cancer community. We are also here to support people that find themselves in this fight, especially young adults and children. Too many young people are in this fight and they need our support. The time that we spent at Johns Hopkins in the Ullman House brought people together, maybe not under the most favorable circumstances. Acquaintances became friends, friends became family. We learned so much from the families that we met. These young people and their families are amazing warriors and they have opened our hearts. No agenda other than support, love, and compassion. In one of Bill's songs, No One Fights Alone, which he co-wrote with Spencer Wearsburg, there is a line that references basements in Baltimore. Those basements were Johns Hopkins and the Almond House. How could such a scary time also be the same place where people from all walks of life came together as human beings? Beautiful moments of friendship, unconditional love, and compassion we discovered a new group of friends that became family. Everyone was welcome and each person you met, each person met you where you were at. So music has always been part of my life. I could not imagine life without it. I turned to music and songwriting as a form of therapy and the Bow Strong organization and the time that we spent at the Almond House were a big part of that healing process. There is a connection between tonight's song and what we learned along the way. It's about holding on to and learning to let go of hate. It's one of the lowest forms of human vibration. Barb and I walked this journey together. When I got my diagnosis, I was scared, angry, and could not understand and accept why. I could feel this negative energy and hate beginning to pull me down. Being around the families at the Allman House touched me. Their positive energy and attitudes were contagious. I realized that we are all living with challenges and most people are struggling and doing the best with whatever burden they are carrying. I was not special. I was not unique. I was just another person doing my best just like everybody else, and we all needed each other. In this family, no one fights alone. As time went on, fear and anger shifted to love and compassion, letting go of the anger and hatred that I developed for cancer took a toll on me. It takes a lot of energy to hold that much anger in your heart. I realized that holding hate, anger, and shame were not serving me well. I had to let go of my story. I was not a victim. I was lucky. I was lucky to have my family, my friends, and to have strong warriors like Spencer and the Wearsburg family the Oliver family by my side. I believe that accepting peace, joy, and love created a healthier environment and allowed me to find strength and in the darkness, see the light. Taking things one day at a time, looking for the good in people putting myself in their shoes, choosing peace, love, and understanding it feels much better. 
I hope that we as a society can find a way to get back to the love and compassion that I received from many of you and that I received in those basements in Baltimore. People are good. Just give them and peace a chance. Hard to love your hate is a simple message of love and forgiveness and letting go of hate. There's a lot of division out there today and it surfaces in many forms of hate. This message is simply just give peace a chance. It is my hope that we all can share positive connections and compassion for each other as our new way of being. Now we're going to introduce the team and a little bit about how music has impacted their lives. Thank you. Music is healing for me in so many ways. I've written many songs with my brother Brian who passed away from cancer and now when I listen to those songs or I play the songs and sing them, it's comforting. It's like he's still with me and saying, it's all right, I'm all right. Music, music is magic. I'd have to say that music has been a, both a healing and guiding light in my life. It appeals to me on so many different levels, physical, mental, emotional, psychological, somewhat mystical. Uh, I can't imagine life without it. Hi, my name is Glenn Workman. I've been a musician my entire life, and for me it's not just a profession. Music is more than just an escape or a diversion. It's a place of joy, a place of creativity, a place of inspiration, and I hope you feel the same. Hey, I'm Buddy Oliver, one of the founders of the Bo Strong Foundation. Um, I was blessed to be able to play on this tune uh, with Bill, and, uh, and the message is amazing. Um, music has always been a refuge for me. I started playing music in, in third grade and was blessed by a mentor. Uh, followed me, uh, I think, in, from middle school. Ended up being my high school band director. and was a huge influence in my life, Barry Ensman. Um, but music has always been a, um, a refuge for me. And so when my son was diagnosed in, in 2012 with cancer, and he was 15 at the time, um, it was my band. I have a jazz quintet that I lead called Slickhampton. And, um, we rehearse every week, whether we play or not. And it's just a, a, a way to get out sort of emotion, a way to emote. And uh, for me, it's always been that. It's always been a breath. Um, uh, it's always been a piece of who I am. Uh, it's a way that I can express things that I can't otherwise express. And I'm been fortunate to have been surrounded by people my whole life who get that. Um, when, when, uh, when Bo was sick and, and when he ultimately died in 2016, uh, it was music uh, that was a huge influence in getting me through that. And my band members uh, were a big part of that. Um, Bo, my son, was also a musician and at, at, uh, he was a fantastic bass player. I uh, played acoustic guitar, mandolin, piano drums, all proficiently, I mean, but, but mainly he was a bass player. And, uh, you know, one of the things Bo always said was when he had cancer, um, was that music was always a better medicine than chemo ever was. And, um, you know, Bo knew how to create playlists for when he went through some of his treatments and from his PET scans and, uh, and things like that. He would know how to accumulate a, a playlist of music that would help him through those times and um and i as a as a player himself he was accepted to berkeley he auditioned was and, and went to three a couple semesters at, Ber at berkeley uh online he was never able to actually get there physically because of his cancer um but uh he was a fabulous musician music was part of his soul and um you can see as he played, even I have video of him playing in his final six months of life uh, where he was playing out. With Sorry, said friends. Dear friends of the family. 
Oh. And you could see the healing. You could see how it affected him. You could see how he was able to beat, get, beat back his cancer. Through music. So, yeah, music and medicine for damn sure. No doubt. Um, whether you play it or listen to it, um, it can change you in ways. Your energy, your cellular level, um, there's science behind it. It's a real deal. Um, so hopefully this piece of music in this time, um, Bill's vision of, you know, being able to understand what's happening in the world right now and be able to speak to it through this song, um, touched me. And um, as a board member, he's incredible, and, and so we're so blessed to have him. I um, hope this helps you, um, like it helped us work through this difficult time by expressing it through music. And, and I think probably from a worldview perspective, um, all of the folks that played on this tune probably come from different places. Mm -hmm. And um, but yet through music, we're able to come together. Uh, with this message of hope and a rejection of hate and an acceptance of love of one another. And uh, I hope that you find this through this music and here it is. Thanks.
So thanks for joining tonight. I hope you enjoyed the song. I hope you enjoyed some of the stories. I learned a little bit about Bo Strong. I also need to take this opportunity to thank my family, Barb, Katie, Jimmy, and Billy. I have an amazing family. I'm so lucky to have them and their support. Family is very important. So thanks again. And we'll see you soon.